hello everyone uh, today we are going to discuss about the various type of speed uh, that are referred in your traffic engineering so uh, in our traffic engineering uh, we see speed as a journey speed time in speed space mean speed running speed and the average running speed so the basic difference between these speed is the time of reference that we take so the time uh, taken for the journey speed timing speed and space mean speed is journey time while for your running speed and average running speed we take running time so first of all let us make it clear that what is a uh, journey time and uh, running time so journey time is when we include stop time in a journey then it is called as journey time while if this stop time is not included then it is co called as running time so we can understand it through an example so suppose uh, we are traveling from point a to point b so point a is your origin and b is your destination and uh, it took 60 minutes to reach from point a to point b and in between journey was break three times and uh, each break was of 10 minutes the uh, the reason for the break could be like traffic congestions we take a break of 10 minutes three times so your journey time will be 60 minutes that is we have included the stop time while the running time will be 60 minus 30 minutes comes out to be 30 minutes okay so in our running time we have not included the stop time the time uh, where the journey was broken or the vehicle was stopped okay so in your journey time we do not uh, in journey time we include stop time in a running time we do not include the stop time so now let us uh, discuss the type of speeds your journey speed is distance upon time that is the simple speed that we know so it is it is nothing but the but but our normal speed your timing speed is the average of your journey speed so your timing speed is nothing but the average of your normal speed so by formula we can define the timing speed as summation of d by t by n where d is the distance t is the time and n is the number of speed runs that we have taken into account then uh, the space mean speed is distance traveled upon average travel time all right so your space mean speed is defined as your distance divided by average of time okay this could be okay so this is your space mean speed now uh, when do we use a uh, time mean speed and when do you when do we use space mean speed you see your time mean speed is used when we are studying the speed at a single point okay so this means that uh, in a road section are doing a survey and uh, whatever the speed of the vehicle that are passing through a point we note that down okay while your space mean speed your space means sp speed is related to the length of section so this means that the time required by the vehicle to cross a section of the road this is what we consider 
in the space means speed okay so i hope it is very clear that in uh, the time in speed we have considered we are interested in a specific point that whatever the vehicle that are passing through this point they are passing at what speed and then we take an average of that speed while in a space means speed we are interested that in a road section the vehicle are crossing this road section at what speed okay then we have a uh, running speed in your in your uh, running speed we take running time as a reference so we do not include the stop time and when we take average of this running speed then it comes to be average running speed so your simple formula for your running speed will be distance upon time where time is running time and we have discussed what is a running time and your average running speed will be average of these okay now let us understand uh, each with an example so suppose suppose we are doing a trial run in a road section the distance of the road section is 1.9 kilometers and in the first trial in the first trial the travel time was 153 second and during that uh, an 11 second break was there that is there might have been a traffic jam because of which the vehicle came to an halt likewise in the second trial uh, the time of travel was 103 second and there was no delay time that is vehicle took 103 second to cross this road section in the third trial the travel time was 166 and uh, the delay time was 25 second likewise in the fourth attempt the travel time was 137 in the fifth it was 127 seconds so let us calculate the time means speed space means speed and the running speed first of all let us calculate the journey speed in in our journey speed we take into account the delay also so your journey speed will be distance upon time time here will be 153 seconds convert it into hours so the answer comes out to be 44.7 likewise we will have 66.4 then we will have 41.2 then 49.4 and after that 53.9 so your timing speed will be summation of d by t divided by n so we will take 44.7 plus 66.4 plus 41.2 plus 49.4 53.9 divided by n number of terms are 5 so this comes out to be 15.5 kilometer per hour the second will be space mean speed so your space mean speed will be average of time so distance is 1.9 kilometers and the average time taken by the vehicle to cross this section will be summation of t the t will be journey speed or running speed it will be journey speed so this comes out to be 153 plus 103 plus 166 137 127 divided by 5 converting into hours it comes out to be 49.85 
millimeter per hour okay likewise we can uh, also calculate average running speed so in our average running speed we will not include this delay time so our time will be 153 minus 11 from this give 48.1 to 103 the time uh, the speed average running speed will be 66.4 likewise 48.4 49.4 and uh, through this the average running speed will come out to be 52.6 millimeter per hour okay so that's the just that is the only difference between the different type of speed so in, in journey speed time means speed space means speed we take out take the journey time while in running speed or average running speed we take the running time that is we do not include the delay time so when whenever we are calculating running time we subtract the travel time that is the time period will be 153 minus 11 this will come out to be 142 seconds and then divided by distance okay through this the values are obtained and taking an average value of this we will get the average running speed okay so if i hope uh, these terms are very much clear to you if you have any confusion in any of the topics of civil engineering you can post it in the comment section and i will try to make a very simplified video of that topic thank you